California wood duck is a different critter. Um, I mean, wood ducks are fabulous birds in the first place. They're a cavity nesting bird, so they need uh, cavities that have been created by other, uh, other species, other birds usually, or by, by tree rot. They're mostly found in riparian regions. So uh, throughout California especially, there are these large uh, oak galleys, lots of natural cavities for wood ducks. Riparian habitats are one of the most threatened habitats, I guess you'd say, or most impacted habitats from a wetland habitat in California. Uh, 90, 95 percent, I think they say, of uh, all riparian habitat is, has uh, been lost in California. So the wood duck in some ways is an ideal species as kind of an indicator species of the health of riparian systems. It requires the, uh, the, the, the large older trees along the riparian zone for its nest cavities, uh, requires the, the high quality of water in the, in the streams, uh, this young are completely dependent upon it. Uh, the adults are dependent on those riparian areas for a good part of the year. That's their breeding habitat. Because instead of having you know, uh, state employees having to do this on meager funds and you know, heavier workloads, now you engage uh, a citizen volunteer workforce uh, of folks that are, that are passionate about wood ducks, that are, that are passionate about waterfowl, that want to spend their weekends uh, and after work days uh, uh, doing these kinds of things. And the California Wood Duck Program has been a stunning success. In partnership uh, over the various years with Cal Fish and Game and, and more recently UC Davis has played a small role. Uh, but the California Waterfowl Association has led one of the largest uh, volunteer wood duck programs in the nation. And the wood duck is an extremely forgiving bird to allow one to do that. So it's very tolerant of being handled. Uh, it nests very nicely in the same place year after year so you can find them without uh, extensive nest searching. Because the wood duck is an absolutely gorgeous bird. And so uh, they capture the public's interest. They capture the public's imagination. So they very much do serve as not only an indicator species of the health of the riparian system, they also serve a keystone or an umbrella species to help signal to the public um, the need uh, for consideration of management and, uh, and restoration and conservation of these riparian systems and, and the value of waterfowl. So the wood duck really is a, is a great ambassador uh, for uh, wildlife management and natural resource management. That's a salvage egg out of one of my nest boxes. That's a good egg. Oh yeah, yeah. look, there he is. Yeah. Look where he pipped it. You can see his bill coming up. I can hear him up in there. This is his lifeline for the next day or two. Not make it because they're not ready for the outside and if you wait too long they'll starve to death right in the box there. So then when they go out into the gunky pond and they stay there for, I'd like to figure, at least three days. Otherwise, as soon as they've uh, absorbed their egg sac, that, uh, uh, they will starve to death. There's three more in here. What's that? What size band? Oh, I still haven't picked up the five A's, so we're using the sixes. That's good. Okay, damn. Yeah, right. We've spread the cloaca open, and if it's a male, I'm sorry. Then um, you'll have a penis pop out, and if it's a hen like this one, then you won't. We were banding, we were banding quite a batch. <laughs> we passed them off to them. Is that a young hen? Yeah. It'll be a perfect one. So imprint better. Yeah. It's a hen. It's released on your net. Oh, did it? I didn't know what you meant. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't use my usual jargon.
Yeah, <laughs> that's right. for quite a while. Well, I, not or two, I'm pretty sure. Before I gamble again, I'll put it here. Well, you're right. They'll follow one another. Just feeding them all this rich food. Now what are they going to eat? And I said, now they're going to eat duck food. Real food, yes. And they, you look at them, you know, already just getting out of the crate. I'm looking at them, the wood ducks, because they're all eggs that would be thrown on the ground. Well, these are junk eggs. You know, it's eggs that never would have hatched otherwise. Right. That's what makes me feel so good about the wood duck program. She says, wait for me. I think that that was a good release. That was over 80 birds that we just dumped out there. And you can see by the habitat and the cover, once they get in there, they're pretty safe from all the predators. Good job, Daryl. Thank you. Thanks for coming along.